Hi everyone, welcome to another video of NS Pharma. In today's video, we will study 10 multiple choice questions from Pharmaceutics 1. Let's begin. First question is, which one of these is not a unit dosage form? Which one of these is not a unit dosage form? Options are Option A. Tablets Option B. Suppositories Option C. Powders and Option D. Pellets Ok. What is the question? Which one of these is not a unit dosage form? This is a simple question. I think you all know the answer. The correct answer for this question is Option C. Powders Powders are not unit dosage form. They are bulk dosage form. Powders are bulk dosage form. Okay, what is unit dosage form? Unit dosage forms are, they are dosage forms which we can count, which is in countable form. That is, we can count as 1, 2, 3 like tablet. We can take it as 1 tablet or 2 tablet, 3 tablet like that. Okay, capsule is another example. Some other examples of unit dosage forms are lozenges, tablet and capsule we already studied. Then suppositories, pessaries, sachet, etc. All are coming under unit dosage forms. Okay. In this question, which one of these is not a unit dosage form? Option A, B as well as option D are unit dosage form. Option C is bulk dosage form that is powders. Okay, now we are moving to the next question. Question number 2. 1 kilogram is equivalent to 1 kilogram is equivalent to Options are 2.5 pound Option B 3 pound 3.0 pound Option C 2.2 pound Option D none of the above 1 kilogram is equal to or equivalent to 2.5 pound, 3 pound, 2.2 pound, none of the above. The correct answer is option C, 2.2 pound. Okay. 1 kilogram is equal to 2.2 pound. Okay. Pound is represented by LBS. 2.2 pound, that is 2.2 LBS. It is represented as LBS, as like kilogram when we write the kilogram we will write kg kg okay in short as like pound is represented by lbs okay 1 kg is equal to 2.2 lbs now we are going to the third question question is monophasic liquid is monophasic liquid is options are gargle option b suspension option c Emulsion, option D, none of the above. Okay. Monophasic liquid is gargle, suspension, emulsion, none of the above. We will see the answer first of all, then we will discuss the options and the details regarding these questions. Okay, the correct answer for this question is gargle. Option A. Gargle is a monophasic liquid dosage form. Okay. Here you can see Dosage forms are mainly class 5 into 3 type that is solid dosage form, liquid dosage form and semi-solid dosage form. Dosage form are class 5 into 3 types, solid dosage form, then liquid dosage form, then semi-solid dosage form. Okay. Here the question was regarding monophasic dosage form. Okay. Monophasic dosage form. Okay. So, first of all, we will study the classification. Solid dosage forms are class 5 again into two types that is unit dosage form and bulk dosage form. This one we already covered in the first question that is unit dosage form example are tablet, capsule, pills, etc. These are countable. Okay, unit dosage forms are countable. Solid dosage form are class 5 into unit dosage form and bulk dosage form. Example for the bulk dosage form is powders. Okay, they are coming under category of bulk dosage form. Liquid dosage forms are classified into two types: biphasic dosage form, biphasic liquid dosage form, and monophasic liquid dosage form. Okay, biphasic examples are 
emulsions and suspensions suspension and emulsions are coming under biphasic liquid dosage form what are the example for monophasic liquid dosage form monophasic liquid dosage forms are again classified into internal use for the internal use as well as for the external use for the internal use syrups elixirs linters drops etc Ex they are the example for the external liniments then lotion then gargles then mouthwash all are coming under monophasic external liquid dosage form okay so gargles are coming under monophasic liquid dosage form okay next one is semi solid dosage form semi solid dosage form is classified into two types internal as well as external use internal examples are pessaries and suppositories they are using use as internal semi solid dosage form next one is external external semi solid dosage form examples are ointments then creams then jellies etc are coming under external semi solid dosage form okay dosage forms are classified into three types solid liquid and semi solid solids are classified again two types unit dosage form and bulk dosage form unit dosage forms are countable bulk dosage forms are not countable example of bulk dosage form is powders liquid dosage forms are classified into monophasic liquid dosage form and biphasic liquid dosage form monophasic liquid dosage form examples are for the internal use the examples are in syrups elixir elixirs linters etc and for the external liniments then gargles then uh, mouthwash etc for the biphasic liquid dosage form examples are suspension and emulsion semi solid dosage forms are classified for the internal as well as for the external use internal use example is suppository and pessaries for external creams ointment jellies okay these are the classification of dosage form now we are moving to the fourth question question is propylene glycol propylene glycol is used in ear drop as propylene glycol is used in ear drop as options are preservative option b solvent option c additive option d none of the above okay propylene glycol is used in ear drop or otic preparation okay otic preparation propylene glycol the correct answer is option b solvent propylene glycol is used as solvent in otic preparation another example for the solvent normally using in the otic preparation is glycerol glycerol anhydrous glycerol is another example for the solvent which is used in ear drops or otic preparation now we are going to the next question question number 5 which of this is standard unit for the capacity in international system that is what which of these is standard unit for capacity in international system options are milliliter option b liter option c ounce option d minute okay which of this is a standard unit for the capacity in international system the correct answer is option b liter okay liter is the sa unit of capacity now we are moving to the next question question number 6 sulfured glass is prepared from soda glass sulfured glass is prepared from the soda glass by treating its surface with sulfured glass is prepared from soda glass by treating its surface with options are sulfur option b sulfur dioxide option c sodium sulfate option d none of the above sulfured glass is prepared from soda glass by treating its surface with correct answer is option b sulfur dioxide okay sulfur dioxide this is one of a important question so many question paper already asked this question sulfured glass is prepared from soda glass by treating its surface with sulfur dioxide okay not the sulfur option b is the correct answer sulfur dioxide question number 7 hermetic containers are used for hermetic containers are used for what are the hermetic containers if you know the hermetic container you can give the answer here 
hermetic containers are used for option a oral solution option b powders option c injectable option d none of the above hermetic containers are used for oral solution powders injectable none of the above the correct answer is option c injectable injectable hermetic containers are used for injectables okay uh, hermetic containers are the containers they will prevent it will prevent the passage of air oxygen or any other gases inside the container now we are going to the eighth question micromeritics deals with the study of what do you mean by micromeritics micromeritics deals with the study of options are powders option b micropores option c metric system of measurement option d small particle micromeritics the correct answer is option d small particle micromeritics is deals with the study of small particles now we are going to the next question question number nine which one of these mills is used for size reduction of fibrous material okay which one of these mills is used for size reduction of fibrous material options are roller mill option b road mill option c cutter mill option d ball mill we are discussing only pharmaceutics one question okay 10 questions from pharmaceutic one subject this subject is coming under first year d farm here the question is which one of these mills is used for size reduction of fibrous material the correct answer for this question for the fibrous material the size reduction mill is cutter mill cutter mill option c is the correct answer cutter mill is used for size reduction of fibrous material now the last question moderately fine powder must pass through the sieve number moderately fine powder must pass through sieve number this is an important question very very important question okay options are 22 option b 244 option c 100 option d 120 moderately fine powders powders are classified into different grades out of this more the question is about moderately fine powder it should pass through the sieve number correct answer is option b 44 44 okay we will see different grades of powders powders are classified into different grades that is coarse powder moderately coarse powder moderately fine powder fine powder and very fine powder total five category that is coarse powder then moderately coarse powder then moderately fine powder fine powder very fine powder total five category first one we will study about the sieve through which all the particles should pass that is in case of course sieve number is 10 all the particles should pass all the particle must pass through the sieve number 10 in case of coarse powder moderately coarse that is 22 for the moderately fine that is 44 that was the question moderately fine that is 44 sieve number 44 for the moderately fine powder all the powders all the particle must pass through the sieve number 44 for the fine powder that she that is 85 sieve number 85 for very fine powder that is 120 okay 120 okay so sieve through which not more than 40 percentage of the particle pass for the coarse powder it is 44 for the moderately coarse powder it is 60 for the moderately fine powder it is 85 for fine and very fine it is not specified okay sieve number through which not more than 40 percentage of the particle pass that we discussed now okay here the question in this question it's asked all the particles should pass through the sieve number then moderately for the moderately fine powder it is 44 thank you very much for watching this video hope you understood all the details regarding these questions and answers if you have any 
questions or any doubt regarding these questions you can ask in the comment section if you like this video please make thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe the channel and share this video with your pharmacy friend thank you